Look at that. See it? There it is. There's the food. Two hours ago, I saw Paula wrap a present in there and take it in the bedroom and hide it. Now she brings in this gorgeous tray of food. You're still telling me that you didn't tell them today's my birthday, huh? Oh, believe me, Harry, I didn't say a word. All right, play it out, play it out. Somehow they found out about it, and now they're going to make a big fuss over it. I guess, now that I know, the hardest thing to do is going to be to act surprised. To probably all be hidden behind the sofas and the chairs and everything. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> That's beautiful. You look like you were bronze during the mugging. They are coming. Hi there, Andrew. Miss H, you sent for me. Yes, it's about the light in the refrigerator. I thought I took care of that yesterday. You did, but the candle burned out. <laughs> You better get a bulb in that thing. Yeah, I went down to Miller's Hardware to pick a couple up. Yeah, I hope these fit. If they'd have been open, I'd have got a couple of extra sizes. If Miller's was closed, how did you get those? Well, if you go by there tonight, you'll notice that the eye in Miller's is dark. Hey, Harry. Well, hello, Paula. Hey, you want to come over here for a minute? I got something for you. Right, sir. Of course. <laughs> only I warn you, I can only stay three, four hours. <laughs> Surprise, Harry. Harry! Get a little. Yeah. Harry! Hey! Harry, what are you doing? You want to spoil everything? I was just going for the party for my girlfriend. For your girlfriend? Yeah. All right. Have it your way. Hiya, Harry. Hey! Just a minute. Hey, Eddie! Come on over! Surprise? Yeah, the light in your icebox finally worked. Wow, con <laughs> congratulations. Hey! Hey, Eddie, come on! <laughs> Look, now that I can see what's in there, I think I'll make myself a sandwich. Mm -hmm. What's the matter with Harry? Hey, Harry! Yeah. There it is. What's that? That's your mop, Harry. Remember, I borrowed it a long time ago, and now I'm returning it. I never borrow anything without returning it. Oh, of course. Who would? This is my mop, after all. Yeah. You sure messed up this arrangement, Harry? It's all cut open. Here's a present for your girlfriend. Oh, thanks, Dick. Yes, I hope she likes it, Oscar. It's a pair of bedroom slippers for $12. $12? Well, in that case, I'll give her one now and the other one at Christmas. Better get going. She might want to be waiting. Hey, Oscar. You're going to take that present there and all that food to your girlfriend? Well, sure, Harry. I told you. These are for her. Yeah, you told me that. And this is my mop here. Hi, everybody. Hi, Hey, hey what did I get you? Hey, a mop? Hey, where's the birthday? Shut up. Eddie. Excuse me, folks. I, uh, I think the chief wants to see me. Got his birthday. I think the uh, chief wants to see me. Talk Harry, to your kids. Harry, Harry, oh, Harry, please just come here. No. Would you please forgive us? We, we simply <laughs> forgot. We forgot what? It's Harry's birthday, Oscar. It's, uh, it's Harry's... Oh, Harry. But it's not... Harry, why didn't you tell us? It's your birthday. birthday. Oh, for goodness sake, Harry. Happy birthday. Why didn't you tell us? I didn't want you to feel obligated to it. <clears throat> obligated? Well, you're our friend. Besides which, we... Well, a birthday is a time for celebration and gifts. Why, between the four of us, we could have chipped in and bought you something. A card. <laughs> Birthdays, what are they? Birthdays don't mean anything to me. Well, they mean a lot to me. Mine's five weeks from next Wednesday. I marked it down on your calendar. <laughs> How old are you, Harry? How old? Uh, well, I, I, uh, I'm, uh, funny you... I'm 30, Dick. Oh, Dick, I'm 30. <laughs> Harry, there's nothing to be depressed about being 30. It's, well, it's a wonderful age. That's when things really start happening in your life. It's a great age to be. I know I'm certainly looking forward to it. <laughs> Harry, what's so depressing about being 30, for goodness sake? Uh, the most depressing thing about being in your 30s is not being in your 20s anymore. <laughs> I mean, I mean, what a guy... Guy turns 30, he feels like he should be halfway to where he wants to be in life, you know. And look at me, I don't even have a wife. I got a wife that ain't all that great. <laughs> Harry, 
Hey, Harry, you know, Oscar's right. When you get to be 30, that's, that's when you really start to live. Sure, Harry. I mean, take it from me. When you hit 30, your whole perspective changes. You get a whole new outlook. It's like starting all over. It's terrific. No kidding. Mm -hmm. No kidding. Mm -hmm. Hey, you know something? You're making me feel a lot better. I didn't know you two were 30. <laughs> uh, we're not, we're not Harry. Harry. You kids. Well, wait till you turn 30, then you'll know how it feels. You start to slow down. <laughs> You start to realize that you're halfway there. Hey, old timer. What time were you born? Well, 11 o'clock at night. Why? Because it's only 5 o'clock now. That means you got six hours until you're officially 30. Yeah, there you are. There you are. That's right. I'm still 29. Yeah. It's like the fountain of youth. Hey, you guys, I'm young again. <laughs> Oh, boy, I feel awful. Did we goof? No, no, wait a minute. No, we didn't. It's not too late. Stores are still open. We can get them something. Yeah, the stores are still open. Mm -hmm. If we all chipped in, we could get him one really nice thing. Why don't we buy him a pair of stretch socks? <laughs> <laughs> well, that wasn't exactly what I had in mind. I mean, I was thinking more about a sports coat or a pair of slacks. Well, that's a little steep. It's well, hard to get clothes from a man we don't know any of his sizes. Well, that's the reason I suggested stretch socks. I know how we can get his sizes. We'll go right over to his apartment. Mm, one more question. How are we going to get his keys? Wait a minute. Ah, oh, the first thing. Hey, 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 Harry. Excuse me, Come folks. On. Won't keep you a minute. Just... What? What's wrong? Yep. There they are. There they are. Funny thing. Every time I sit down on this couch, these keys fall right out of my pocket. Harry lives. Yeah. Gee, Dick, it's not quite what I'd expected. Why? What'd you expect? I don't know. No, Harry. He's so full of life and everything. I, just, I didn't think the place would be so drab. Oh, honey, Harry's a bachelor. To a bachelor, it's not drab. A bachelor needs a place that's compact, easy to take care of. Besides, it's a very nice neighborhood. Very convenient location. I bet it's got a great view. Uh, hello. Hi. Who are you talking to? The view. Well, we came to get his sizes. Let's go. Right. Here come the sizes. Shoes, shoes, 13 and a half C. 13 and a half. Sweater, extra large. And shirt, 16 and a half, hey, Dick, 35. Dick! What? Connie, look at these pictures. Come here. Gee, here we are. There's you and me and Harry. They must have been taken years ago. For goodness sakes, my skirt is so long. <laughs> look at all of these. He just has our pictures here. What's that, a postcard? Hey, that's the postcard we sent Harry on our honeymoon, my goodness. Let me see that. Yeah. Oh, you're so right. Look at this. Hey, hey, you remember what I wrote? Dear Harry, having a wonderful time. Glad you're not here. <laughs> Funny. I had no idea we've known him so long. Funny. Boy, now, he has got some interesting books here. Dante's Inferno, Plato's Republic, Crime and Punishment, Sex and a Single Girl. Well, honey, you know those book clubs. You have to take three classics before you get to the good stuff. <laughs> Hey, honey. Huh? Come here. Look at this. In case of emergencies, call. Here's our name and our telephone number and our address. Well, I guess... I guess we're the only people he knows. I... Gosh, we forgot his birthday. No, he didn't. That's why we came here, to find something that he needs. Right, to find something that he needs. You know what he needs, don't you? He needs a new apartment. What? Sure, sure. I could redecorate this place. I really could. I could get hold it, contact. hold it, hold it, hold, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it now. Just a minute, just a minute. Maybe he likes it like this, or maybe, maybe he wouldn't like what we would do to it. Honey, he likes our apartment, doesn't he? We decorated that. 
Yeah, if you get Drake. Wait, hold it, hold it a second now. All right, all right. If I said yes, when would we get the time to do this? Well, Harry's on duty for three days, right? That means we got two days to work on this apartment. Now, if we get a hold of Oscar and Andrew and the four of us work on shifts, we, we can arrange something. We can get this place fixed up in two days. Oh, I'm sorry. I want to be sure and ask you. I want to be sure that you feel in favor of my decorating this apartment. Good. Good. <laughs> Now, I just hope that there are no hitches in this. Hi, folks. Hiya, Hitch. Uh, here. Here. Sit down, Bella. Oh, you what's the matter? Well, I just stopped by to tell you that I haven't been feeling so good, so the doctor seems to think I have a virus, so I... That's funny, isn't it? What's funny? One of them is in my 20s. I had this terrific resistance, you know. I just... <laughs> The doctor says I gotta go to bed for a couple of days. Bed? Where? Where? Where else? My apartment. Oh, oh uh, wait. Hey, don't touch hold me. It, hold don't it. Touch, don't, please don't touch me. Uh, I don't want you to get this terrible thing out here. That's very sweet of you. We appreciate your concern. Uh, but you can't go to your apartment. You can't go to my apartment. Why not? Uh, no, because um, um, I intend to take care of you. You what? If you go to your apartment, I'll have to go with you. Yeah. Yeah. You see, mm -hmm. I mean, it would be much more convenient if you would stay here. Right. I could take care of you okay. here and I could mm -hmm. stay with Dave. She'd go right over there. She'd be with you all the time. <laughs> come on, come on. Touch me. I'll go well with me. I'll go well. Come on. Okay, fella. Right. Now, right. hop right in that bed. I'll give you some hot, hot tea. Put you under the blankets and you'll wet it out. I don't know what you're making all this big fuss about. It's just a crummy cold. I'll be over this thing in an hour and a half. In okay. the room, Harry. In the bed. Okay. <laughs> Okay, you guys, I, I really appreciate this. At, at my age. <laughs> 30 years old and sick. <laughs> you know what's the matter with Harry? Why? He's senile. <laughs> the draw. Have to play another hand, Harry. Right. No, I have just got to get back home, and that's that. I'm going to get my things there in the other what room. What about Dick and Paula? I'll call them when I get home. But I... <laughs> <laughs> going to take you people to finish decorating that apartment. I, I can't stall him anymore. No, Paula isn't here yet. Well, I'm running out of ideas. Gin rummy? Oh, you're kidding. <laughs> I've been playing gin with him for the last hour and he's won every hand. I've lost a bundle. <laughs> oh, sure, sure. It's all right for you to tell me how important it is for me to keep him here. But I'm the guy that's in a hole for a buck forty. <laughs> All right, all right. Five rings on the phone is the signal we can let him go. I got you. Oh, uh, oh, you, you're welcome, Nora. I'm glad you like the slipper. Bye. <laughs> Hold it, Harry. Harry, uh, where's my watch? <laughs> Your what? My watch, my wristwatch. I'd like to have it back, Harry. I don't, I don't know where your watch is, and I don't know what you're talking oh, about. Oh, come on, Harry. Don't act innocent with me. You know the watch I mean? The one with the, the gold mesh band and the diamond numerals on the face? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, isn't that it? No, that isn't it, Harry. That's that watch. I mean the one that goes on that wrist. <laughs> you, uh, you wear two watches. Yes. They're stereo. <laughs> well, Oscar, I didn't take your watch. Oh, look, Harry. Now, Harry, you've got to admit there are only two of us in this apartment, right? Yeah. Now, obviously, I would not steal my own watch. <laughs> but I'll tell you what I'm going to do, Harry. I'm going to give you another chance. I'm going to turn that light out. 
I'm going to place my arm on this table. I'm going to count to ten. I'm going to turn the lights back on, and I would like to. I would like to see my watch back on my wrist. <laughs> Oh, Oscar. Harry, I don't care who did it. <laughs> and I promise you it'll never go any further than this room. Oscar, you are crazy. Oh, I know, I know. Help me, Harry. Help me. <laughs> Oh, no, no, Dick didn't call. Uh, Harry and I were just playing a fun game. Oh, yeah? Hi, Harry. Hi, Anne. How you feeling? Oh, fine. Just fine. I'm, but I'm not too sure about Oscar. <laughs> Harry, Harry, where are you going? I'm going home, Anne. Home? Home, yeah. Oh, but I'm glad you got here. Uh -huh. I wanted to thank you for all of your concern and your hospitality. I, uh -huh. The guy just couldn't have had better care than I had. Thanks to you, hon, I feel great. Just uh -huh. great. I see. Well, uh, Harry, I uh, want to be honest with you. Yeah? You look terrible. <laughs> I just looked at myself in the mirror. I think I look fine. No, Harry, you're going to let us be the judge of that. You're a, you're a man looking at yourself through sick eyes. That's right, Harry. <laughs> what do you mean? My color's back and everything. If you like green. <laughs> Harry, when you've been sick, you shouldn't just pop up out of bed. You have to give yourself time to convalesce. Now, come on over here. Paul is dead right, Harry. What you need is a rest. And what's nicer than this comfy couch? One. What do you mean? What, what, what do you mean, one? One, one. You won the games. I'll get that phone. Well, <laughs> this is your house. You better answer it. Okay. Oscar, you go ahead. You get the phone. Well, I'll get it. No, Harry. <laughs> Paula, would you answer the phone? <laughs> How do you like that? I missed the phone call from him. Well, that's it, Harry. But oh, Harry, you know how that's you just told me I look terrible. What do I know, Harry? I don't know anything. I'm just one yeah, person. She's right, Harry. Come on, you look great. Look at how I don't feel walking. great. Well, you look at Harry, you let us be the judge of that. Right. Listen, Harry, you know what would be a good idea? Mm. If you just stepped across the way and said hello to the guys in the firehouse. Perfect. Person, yeah. Sure. Come over and say hi to them, Harry. Show them how good you look. Yeah. yeah. See you later. Quite the plank, Harry. Oh, we got to get going. It's a party. <laughs> Gee, Harry, it's good to have you back. You know, you don't look like you've been sick at all. Oh, thanks, thanks. I just, uh, just stopped by to say hello. I'm on my way back to my apartment today. I'll see you tomorrow. Right. Listen, by the way, what day do you want me to take off next week? You know, so I can help you move? Oh, uh... Oh. I thought, I thought maybe Tuesday. I told the landlord I'd be out of the apartment by Wednesday. Oh, okay. <laughs> You know, it's amazing what four people can do in two days. Get away! Get away from there. <laughs> Three people could have done this a little faster. <laughs> Sorry we're late. What took you so long? Oh, I, I had to stop by and pick this up. I thought it would add that extra touch to the apartment. He's here. All right, you're late. Come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Hush. Quiet, quiet. Surprise! Surprise! Happy birthday, Harry. Happy birthday, Harry. What are you doing here? Happy birthday, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> Here. Hey, look at this. You know, the four of you went out and you... This is why you tried to keep me from coming home and everything. You like it? It's just, it's beautiful. Oh, I'm so glad you do. <laughs> Oh, Oscar, you shouldn't have done it. 
Andrew, you shouldn't have. <laughs> Oh, Hope you'll always be happy here, Harry. How do you think somebody for... well, I know. I know how you think, and I know what we'll do. I tell you what we'll do. We'll go downstairs, and we'll buy a bottle of champagne. Yeah. Yeah, Ooh. right. And we'll take it over to your apartment, and we'll celebrate that. Oh, well, Let's go, Harry. Harry. Oh, we got everything. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We got everything set up here. Excuse me, folks. Oh, Mr. Hello, Sarah Carter, Mr. Costello. I just want... This is Mr. Costello. He's my landlord. Uh, you can, these are my you? friends. I'm my entertaining them tonight. Mr. Costello, I'll see you in the morning, if that's hey, all right. Wait a minute. What happened here? Nothing. This I'll is beautiful. Uh, yeah, this is gorgeous. I'll see you in the see, morning. See, Mr. Costello, oh, yeah, Mr. Mr. Costello, a few days ago was Harry's birthday, right. so we decided to surprise him and sort of fix his place yeah. up for him. <laughs> oh, you mean you didn't know? Good night, Mr. Costello. <laughs> You know what? Nothing. Nothing. That he's moving out of here Wednesday. Moving? <laughs> I knew he should have gotten them stretched socks. <laughs> so, you see, Mr. Costello, I was planning to move out of here into a nicer apartment, but now I don't have to. You can't get much nicer than this. Here, let me oh, give no, you another no, no, piece no, no. of cake. Oh, yeah. I have One to be leaving anyway. Cake. Oh, oh, good. Okay. Well, take I'll, that to the missus. I'll huh? take it to the missus. That's right. right. Yeah, but I couldn't eat it myself. Mm. Okay. Hey, I'll be down to the office in the morning to sign the new lease, huh? Well, that's fine, but I just can't get over how beautiful this apartment is. I and mean, that... it's marvelous. Thank you. Mm -hmm. But, of course, you realize now that you've made these marvelous improvements in here, uh, I'm going to have to raise your rent. <laughs> USA Sports tonight at 10 Eastern as Martina Navratilova returns to defend her championship from a field that includes 1984 Olympic gold medalist Steffi Graf in the Linda Carter Maybelline Women's Championship. Now stay tuned for the Alfred Hitchcock Hour next on USA.